beautiful people and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I upload new videos. So today we're speaking about someone whom I personally regard as the epitome of black excellence. We are speaking about uh, Professor Mamucheti Pakeng. If you don't know who she is, then she is basically the, um, the vice chancellor of the University of Cape Town, of UCT. Yeah, she's the vice chancellor of UCT. And I believe she started her role um, as vice chancellor back in 2018, if I'm not too mistaken. And it was just such a joyous occasion because obviously um, UCT at that point had never had a female vice chancellor. I do believe that they had previously had a black vice chancellor. Um, I think his name was Professor Kamalo, but he sadly passed away. And then, you know, obviously after him, we had uh, Vice Chancellor um, Pageng. And honestly, it was just such a joyous moment. As I can say, it was just the epitome of, of Black excellence, Black class, and everything that you can just think of when it comes to Black people uh, succeeding. But today, I bring to you sad news as um, it's being reported that she was given a golden handshake of about 12 million rand. It didn't say dollars, it said rands. Yeah, she was given a golden handshake of about 12 million rands. Obviously, for those of you who don't know what a golden handshake is, it is some sort of a, a severance package. But without all of the euphemisms, we all know that a golden package or, you know, when, the, when they give you some sort of a package, it's because they're firing you. They no longer want you to be there, right? So she was initially, I believe, supposed to um, extend her um, reign, I'll call it that, because she is a queen in my eyes at UCT for another five years but then she was uh, shortly um, suspended I think and then after suspension she met with the panel and then from the panel um, they decided that they would send her off into an early retirement or you know in air quotes fire her and send her off with 12 million rands and honestly the the um, you know the reactions on Twitter are, are just astounding because it's and it's beautiful to see because a lot of people on Twitter are just you know saying that whatever happens wherever she goes whatever she does she will always be proof that black excellence and especially in the form of females you know not saying all of the males out there aren't you know, excellence, but I'm just saying, especially in regards to females, she will always be a reminder to us that women of color who are black in particular are and can be absolutely excellent human beings. So um, there's been, you know, a lot of stories floating around in the end, all of these very uh, bougie or posh publications, because obviously when it comes to matters of academia, <laughs> it has to be published by uh, these sort of posh um you know, media outlets. And uh, they said something along the lines of they had decided to send her off into an early retirement or even suspend her because of governance issues. Um, you know, the governance issues were that, you know, I think in general, there were, um, you know, staff members who weren't happy. This is, you know, in my opinion, from what I have gathered, they spoke something about student protests, student accommodation issues, student fees. Um, and they also spoke about the senior members of of, you know, UCT um, having left office since she became, I think they said it was 12 of them or 11 of them, 11 of the 30 senior members at UCT who left office um, after she had, you know, sort of started or started her reign as the vice chancellor. Obviously, all of those were for different reasons. Um, but I think the mere fact that they're mentioning this, they are trying to allude to the fact that some of these members weren't happy with how she was um, how she was governing UCT, even though they they them in fact say themselves, excuse me, that it was because of various reasons. So I'm going to quote something from the article. It says, uh, he added that over the past four years, from the 1st of July 2018, when the vice chancellor took office to the 30th of June 2022, 11 of the 30 members of the senior leadership team vacated their positions. Five of them retired when they turned 65. Two took early retirement. Two chose not to renew their terms. And two left following disciplinary um, processes. So, you know, obviously there are different reasons there. But I don't want to... Uh, ramble on too much. I just wanted to let you guys know that UCT has officially decided to let go of our beloved vice chancellor. She was vice chancellor to every single black student <laughs> in South Africa, I believe. Tell me what you think in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in my next upload. Goodbye, lovelies.